Hello, hello. Oops, sorry. I'm coming to you with a. Uh, it's only my second box break results video. I uh, just want to show you the better uh, cards I pulled from three different boxes that I bought at a TriStar show here in Houston uh, last weekend. I'm shooting this on um, Sunday, July 15th, 2018. Now, the three boxes I got uh, were. Um, Top, a box of top series one and series two of 2018 and a 2015 Dunder baseball box um, I'm gonna start off with the series one cards now there won't be a ton of cards I'll show you I don't feel like showing every single insert so I'm gonna start off with um, I guess the holo foil I guess these are parallel cards the holo foil uh, cards nice nice shinage and yeah you all can see who they are I want to name every single player people like shiny stuff now surprisingly compared to my series 2 box the only got Let's see, two gold cards out of my Series 1 Tops box. Which I thought was a bit odd and disappointing. But I did get a... I'm guessing this is a parallel card. A uh, blue... What is this? From 1983, I guess. A flat, one of those reprint flashback cards, I guess. Whatever they're called. I guess this is a blue parallel. So I guess I could count as one of the parallels that the box should contain. <coughs> Excuse me. And the member of the hit was a memorabilia card, a uh, bat card of Hyun Jin Ra Ryu. Oh, I'm sure I butchered that name. He's a pitcher, I'm guessing. It's weird that I got a, a bat card for a pitcher. You know, considering they only bat, what, maybe... 50 times a year maybe on average you know kind of weird and I got this one out of the first pack and it is and then wait until I tell you about the memorabilia card I got out of the series 2 kind of an odd combination so I opened up series, series 1 first and then I did season series 2 eh. anyways going on to series 2 the more interesting cards I think of course more holo foil of course, I think I got pretty much all the regular inserts one should get out of these boxes. I just felt like showing the parallels. And now the now the net the next box result the next box of the cards I got from the Dunders box will have more card I'll have more cards to show you. But I, those pretty much are all numbered cards, anyways. Well, let's focus in on the tops here. This is, I guess, a uh, negative card. You know, like a photo negative card. Now it's not, it's not numbered. This is not on mine, is it? I don't know if it should be. But anyway, uh, I got what four gold parallel cards, which was double what I got in series one. Not sure why the difference. Now the music and the foreground and are both the same as my the previous videos I shot today. So if you want to know about them, just go watch the first video, my of the recent pickup video. Now the uh, hit I got out of the box is a uh, uh, uniform memorabilia card, Xander Bogarts, and this one came out of the very last pack I opened, which is way at the bottom of the box. Kind of weird how. Series one, it was the first pack out, one of the top packs there, and then this was one of the bottom packs, the last one. Not sure why that ended up being. It was I was I was worried, you know. It's like where where in the world is this? Because normally, you know, for me they normally come out of the middle, the middle packs. Okay, now I'm going to show you the just the numbered cards that I got out of the Dunder's box. Got more inserts than what I'm about to show you, but I figured the number of cards would be more exciting. Now this is a press-proof Diamond Kings card of George Zimmerman. 
This one is numbered, let me see, number three out of 199. This is a Dominator card of Freddie Freeman. Got some nice shine to it. And this one's numbered 673 out of 999. Granite music. This is a one of the Elite Series cards of Gian, Giancarlo Stanton. Night real nice shine. This one is numbered 96 out of 999. Now we got some uh, press proofs. Which I guess are parallels to the regular cards. This one's numbered 110 out of 118 out of 199 of Doug Fister. This one is of Anthony Rizzo. I wonder, wait a minute. Is that a silver press proof? This one looks like a gold one. At least the press proof word is gold. This one's numbered. This one is numbered to 99, where the other one's 199. I think I said. Or, yeah. Hmm. This one's a holo foil press proof of Cal Ripken Jr. This one's numbered 199 out of 199. Next up is um, holo foil. Now it's, this is numbered to 276, which is the same number as his career on base percentage. A rated rookie. So I'm not. Sure, what kind of parallel? I guess some type of parallel. This one is similar to the previous one. But I guess these are... I don't know. I don't know how to classify these. This is number to 400. Even though it says his sluggy percentage in 2014 is 547. Different kind of parallels, I guess. And this one is... Numbered uh, 283, which is the same number as his career batting average for Matt Adams. And then uh, the hits. The first up is a Jersey's King, Jersey King uh, memorabilia card of uh, Matt Adams of the Cardinals. I think, yeah, Cardinals. And a couple autograph cards versus Tanner Rourke. I think that's how his last name's pronounced. He's with the uh, Nationals, pitcher for the Nationals, and the last one is of Junior Lake. Never heard of these two guys. Of I guess he's with the Cubs. Well, anyway, I'm not sure that wasn't too exciting, but uh, <coughs> that's all I have to show you for this box break result video. Uh, my usual spiel, end of video spiel about if you like what you saw, you know, the liking and subscribing and notification bell and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll do the next box break result video, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one.